Texas State's 2011 season begins in front of over 51,000 fans at Jones AT&T Stadium. Bobcat linebacker Joplo Bartu quiets him down with a third down sack of Texas Tech quarterback Seth Dagey on the first drive of the game. On the ensuing Bobcat possession, a couple of first-year Bobcats, quarterback Sean Rutherford and receiver Isaiah Battle hook up for a 13-yard gain, and running back Marcus Curry charges ahead for a 9-yard pickup, helping set up a 40-yard field goal attempt for freshman kicker Will Johnson, who drills his first kick as a Bobcat, giving Texas State an early 3-0 lead. Darren Moore had a big game for Texas Tech with 12 catches for over 200 yards, but here, Matt Harris provides a ball-jarring hit to Moore, who coughs up the football recovered by Daryl Morris. The next Bobcat drive begins in Red Raider territory, and Marcus Curry explodes up the middle for a nine-yard gain to the Texas Tech 32, and after a fourth down conversion, Tim Hawkins takes his turn on the ground, picking up 12 yards in the zone read play, setting up Texas State inside the red zone. At the Red Raider 20-yard line, Rutherford weaves through traffic for 11 yards and three plays later in fourth and two. Marcus Curry gets a couple of key blocks as he plows into the end zone for the Bobcats' first touchdown of the season. And with a minute 36 left in the first quarter, Texas State leads Texas Tech 10-0. Later in the first quarter, and the score now 10-9, first-year transfer Michael Ebbett nearly comes up with a Bobcats' second turnover of the quarter, but two plays later, the defense comes up with another third-down stop. Matt Harris tackles DeAndre Washington after a short gain, forcing a Red Raider punt. We pick things up in the second quarter, and sophomore wideout Cody Matthews hauls in his first catch in a maroon and gold uniform on third down, and a couple of plays later, Curry takes the handoff and bursts into the Red Raiders' secondary for a nine-yard pickup. Texas Tech's high-octane offense never seemed to get things going against Texas State's D in the first half. Rod Awuji comes up with a nice open field tackle of Cornelius Dennis, and Seth Deggie is sacked again and never saw Brian Lilly coming. The Bobcats outrush the Red Raiders 122-27 in the first half. Marcus Curry provided 66 yards by himself, and we head into the locker rooms in Lubbock with the Bobcats holding a 10-9 lead over Texas Tech.